after the login now i am going to work with the forget password option and in order to work with that i am going to the login blade and here in the below i am going to call a forget password link so here click on the forget password link if someone clicks here he will be taken to the forget password page so in the admin i am going to create forget password blade file so forget password dot blade dot php uh, this file uh, so here i am going to make it underscore that is okay and here into the admin i am going to create another one that is reset password so here will be reset password dot blade dot php uh, okay not underscore it looks good that is hyphen okay and also in the case of reset password i am going to make a hyphen that looks better okay uh, so forget password so the login page i am going to copy all the things from the login page and in the forget password page i am going to paste in the login top will be admin login in the forget password top will be forget password like this okay and in the forget password page i will have uh, here it will be forget password uh, so here error success everything is okay so here it will be admin forget password submit and if he submit and then here it will be submit button so he will just give his email and then submit and here i am going to write back to login page so he can if he want he will be able to back to the login page so route will be um, the admin login so if a person click on the back to login page he will be redirected to the login page again so from here i am going to refresh click on forget password actually there is no route defined so i am going to web.php and i am going to define the route that will be forget password so into here i am going to give forget password admin controller this will be forget password so forget here this will be forget password and here it will be admin forget then password so admin forget password will be the route okay so now let's check it if i click here uh, it's uh, also not coming uh, not working what is here uh, forget password admin controller forget password okay so here login bullet here i did not actually put any link here i put the link to login but in the similar way in the login page i will have to put in the so admin forget password so admin forget password now i am going to refresh click here it is taking me to another here but uh, no method is found so i am going to the admin controller that will be a controller here so admin controller and here i am going to write public then function then forget password here i am going to uh, write the return of view and the view will be admin uh, dot forget password because my view file is forget password dot blade dot php okay now it should work now if i refresh um, admin forget sorry uh, this will be admin forget password but i renamed the name like this so admin forget password uh, admin forget password submit route is not defined because you see the forget password i define route admin forget password submit so i am going to uh, copy this one paste it here this will be a post route so here it will be a post route or forget password submit for example this is uh, forget password submit is the function admit forget password submit is the name route now i am going uh, to refresh yes it is working so click here it back to login page and click forget password it comes to the forget password page so it is perfectly working now what is my task my task is for example here after email i give a beer um, then it will look good okay submit so if a person click on the submit button it will actually come to the uh, admin controller here the function i will create here that is forget password submit 
okay so here it will come it is after after the post out it will come here so here as this is coming using the post so i will call here request object so here in this request object what i will write this is the main thing here okay so what thing i will write here uh, here i will uh, do some the validation so for example uh, request uh, validate validate uh, request validate for example like something here it uh, it is giving me all the codes i'm going to make it off so you see request validate so here i will only validate the request first so here i am going to click on submit you see email field is required so it is working submit must be valid email address okay so both things are working perfectly so that means this validation is working here so after the request validate what will be the next item next item is for example i am going to get the information from the admin actually i am going to remove everything from here so here i am going to uh, call the data from the admin table where so from the admin table i will get what i will get the email i will actually um, get the email address so if the email address is correct or not because this validation will um, be valid will validate the front end if in the form he gives the um, real email address or something like that but if he give a valid email address but if that email address is saved into the admin table or not now i will check that so admin where email equal to uh, this so this i will check so email uh, equal to what email equal to the request email what is coming from the request uh, request email uh, so like this and i am going i am going to get the uh, first information that means the uh, first row i am going to uh, get so admin data equal to this for example now i am going to check if i get anything or not so if not admin data so i will take him back to the admin forget password page or here what i can do i can go him back everything is okay so email not found that means the email is not found in the system so if email is found then i will send an email to the admin in order to reset his password so i will need a token variable so token is for example you can give any uh, take any random number or here you can also create uh, hash make random this is also okay you can uh, make a random number hash make this can be your token or uh, here you can also use a normal hash um, that is share 256 and unique id or time if you want you can make here a time function anything you can use here there are multiple ways to create the token value so that token will be actually the admin data token equal to token because i will update this one so according to my update function so i will just use admin data token so i am going to change it and another one is which one i am going to save is okay save will come here and another will, one will be admin data of uh, update actually not save here i can give update here it will be update so token i am going to get and i am going to send token value to the database so that is okay now what i will do i am now going to create a reset link so reset uh, link so i will create a reset link something like that but remember what will be happened here so according to reset link the link will be admin right so it will be admin and then reset password this is okay uh, you can uh, verify using the um, token only or if you want you can add another one that is email so slash here i am going to give uh, email admin data of email so like this or request email i can give here the request of email so the token that i generate here and the email is email and this will be actually the reset link so admin reset password then this now let's go to the web and here you see there is no such link so here i am going to create a reset link so here is the reset password then you know token so as this is a 
dynamic value so i create i give a curly brace here uh, token and then there will be a email and it will be reset password here so reset password and here will be admin reset password reset password so in this way uh, into the admin controller i put this first the data will be saved and token will be updated and then a reset link i just have been uh, have created and this link i will send the email so in order to send the email what is the my subject my subject is for example reset data my message my message will be something like that please click on the link to reset your password and this will be reset link okay so um this is actually link but uh, i am going to create a real link so message dot equal to something like that yes reset password this will be link when um, the user will click on this text in the email then he will be taken to the reset link so this is perfect uh, or here click here or something click here you can also write something like that and then i will use the mail information that means um, mail so it will be mail and what will be after that like this so mail uh, to equal to request email to here the mail will be sent and send and website mail is my mail class you know and first parameter is subject second parameter is message after that i will return redirect so return redirect back with success the reset uh, password link is sent on your email so you can use the back or you can use the main route name no problem so let's check it if it comes to my email address here or not so let's go here refresh if i give empty it is empty if i give invalid email address must be valid if i give an email address that is not saved into the database it will show me email not found if i put the correct email address what will be happen if you go to the admin table you see now currently token is empty now if i give the correct email address click on submit you will see the email will be sent and database will be updated and here a message will be sent you see the reset password uh, reset password link is sent on your email so success message is showing perfectly here right so here if i go to the admin table you will say a token is generated and it is sent into here the big token value is here you see right so that token comes here and in the email you will get a link you will see an email comes that is reset password who receive it admin at the top gmail.com that means admin is receiving this click here you will see there will be a message please click on the below link to reset your password if you click here it will take you to another one that is reset password and this okay but this is not working because i um, do not have any uh, function yet uh, for example if i just put here a function that is uh, reset password public function reset password and then you will see this there will be no such error, error message you will see yes this is a blank page because i did not write anything in this method yet but the thing is working 